Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be the next NHL Playoff Series reaction as congratulations to Winnipeg Jets fans as wowee. You guys definitely destroyed a lot of people's, including my own uh, playoff bracket, and that now I'm only two for one on series predictions, as I definitely did not get this one on the head whatsoever. I thought Edmonton would win the series, but the Jets ended up winning the series and won it handily. Um, they played great in the series, similar to how Boston just really limited their opponent, the Washington Capitals. The Jets just really limited theirs. They took advantage of that first line of, of the defense and the offense of the Edmonton Oilers. The defensive first line of Nurse and Barry tends to generate a lot of offense from the back end for Edmonton. They didn't do zilch. And then the Connor mcdavid dry cycle combination really didn't do anything either. And that's also because these videos, as I say in all the descriptions for them, obviously, is I show the highlights and storylines and keys to the series win for the team. But in this one, I do have to go a little bit into just how much Paul Maurice out coached Dave Tibbet. I mean, it was a huge um, discrepancy in this series as far as I'm concerned between head coaches. I mean, that team was already doing good at manning your team and shutting them down in game one. And then I believe it was game two or game three. They went completely early in the series, way too early. Tibbet just decided to start putting McDavid and Dreisaitl on the same line again just to make it easier on a Jets team that was already shutting down your guys well because you put them both on the same line. I mean, that doesn't really make a hell of a lot of sense when the team coming in is a very good defensive team on paper. They were just struggling to end the season. You were one of the hottest teams in the league. That's why it's pathetic that the Oilers got swept. It's absolutely pathetic, but it's a huge congratulations to the Jets as well. Paul Maurice outcoached Dave Tibbet in tenfold. He already, from the start of the series, they won the game 4-1 to in the first game while getting outshot because he got outshot, yes, but he still kept a lot of high-prone, high-octane, how I like to call them, scoring chances, away from the best people on Edmonton, and that's how they were able to win. They got the Tucker-Pullman opportune goal that Mike Smith went back, and then a deflection by Toninato in that game, and then got a couple empty netters to seal the deal. So they were able to limit the high-octane scoring chances in that game, as I like to call them. And then in Game 2, that was just simply, that was an OT game. It was nothing-nothing. It was a very close battle, and then they were just able to get the game-winning goal um, by Paul Statchney in overtime there on that snapper by Paul Statchney. That Mike Smith might want back also, but that was just a nice generated play. Somebody should have been able to pick him up a little bit better, but that's just the way it is. That was the hard-fought um, one nothing loss that Edmonton had, but a great win by the Jets to put them up 2-0 in the series, but he still got outcoached in that game because, again, they kept matching up either the Statsny line or the, uh, the um, what you call the Statsny line or the Lowry, Cop and Appleton line, which is also has Adam Lowry, who's great on both ends, Andrew Cop, who's pretty good on both ends, matching up to really limit guys well. And that's why Maurice, not just how the Jets heavily outplayed the Oilers in this series, Paul Maurice heavily outcoached Dave Tibbet in this series. And that's why, normally I wouldn't say this, but Paul Maurice is a star of the series as a head coach. The Winnipeg Jets just buying into their system as a whole, that is a star of this series as well because they really bought in. They played a good defensive system that they took advantage of high-octane scoring chances themselves and were able to create them through their defense and actually buy into playing a good defensive system to limit their offense of the Edmonton Oilers and then push from the back end up and create offense themselves and they did a great job at doing such obviously the third game they were able to route a huge com comeback in that game where Dre Dreisaitl was actually able to score two goals but Nikolai Ehlers coming back was no match for the Edmonton Oilers as he was able to dominate them, uh, scoring a goal at 17-13 in the second. And then, of course, the same Nikolai Ehlers was able to score the deciding goal in OT there, which the obviously deciding play of that game was Josh Archibald making a boneheaded hit that just shifted the momentum after Matthew Perot was able to score in the power play directly to the Winnipeg Jets. 
Um, this series was all hats off, really, to the Jets for just being able to play a great series, play how they played over a month and a half ago, really, when they were ahead of the Edmonton Oilers in the standings, and then the Oilers were as hot as a rocket ship ending out the season, and the Jets were as cold as the North, as the Arctic, basically. So, but they rounded it around, they bought into Paul Maurice's system, they really did a very good job in this series, they played great from the back end through the front end on their offense, played great defensively, shutting down their opponent. It'll be interesting to see what they can do going forward in the playoffs, but could this be everyone's surprise team like the Stars were a surprise team last year uh, that really was able to just spark, but they were obviously coming in hotter in the playoffs, but were just able to really continue to spark it in the playoffs? Maybe. It would be odd because they just sparked it in the playoffs, this Winnipeg Jets team, to smoke the Edmonton Oilers and defeat them in a sweep, which is just absolutely pathetic. You have the best player in hockey in Connor McDavid, and you have Leon Dreisaitl, and you get swept. It's one thing if the Jets won the series. They have a good hockey team. They have a very solid hockey team on paper. They just didn't come to fruition at the end of the season and have the just come to the means of winning games uh, at the end of the season. But they do have a very solid hockey team on paper. It's one thing if they beat them in six, seven games. But the Edmonton Oilers have no business getting swept with how they rounded out the series. But you do got to give the hats off to the Jets. You have to give the hats off for Nikolai Ehlers for coming back in the series and having a great Game 3 to really put a staple on the series. And then in Game 4, that was an absolutely fantastic game. You had three overtimes. You had Shifley score. McDavid was able to get going in that game. Appleton, which the cop Lowry and Appleton line has been killer for the Jets all season. Nuge was able to get going in maybe his last game with the Oilers in that game. With that game, Shifley's definitely the star. He was able to score two goals in the capper, and then Kyle Connor was able to cap off the series on his wrist shot goal 4-3 in the third OT. This was a great um, put-in-perspective series, I think. For some of us people that do YouTube channels or people in media, because coming in, obviously the Edmonton Oilers were the hotter team, but looking on paper, the Winnipeg Jets have the more through and through filled out team. So maybe we have to just inner analyze things a little bit more coming into series, not just on the hottest team coming in, which is exactly how I did it, and that's why I got the series prediction wrong, but but analyze more on just the teams and exactly how they're through and through filled out as well as not just, well, who's hot usually is a great benefit for coming into the playoffs, which I think I focused on definitely too much on this series. So congratulations to the Winnipeg Jets fans. You swept the Edmonton Oilers. You're looking pretty. And will you guys be the surprise team? Put in the comments if any Jets fans do watch this video. Do you think you guys actually have an honest chance? And for people that are not Jets fans, do you think they have an honest chance to be the surprise team of this playoffs and maybe be that, not to get all the way to the cup, but just that Stars X surprise team to maybe get to the third round, get out of the, be, be the team to get out of Canada, or do you think that's still definitely going to be the Toronto Maple Leafs? Put it in the comments. Let's see what you all think. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Peace out and stay safe. Again, congratulations. You swept them. Nobody saw that coming. Absolutely pathetic for the Oilers, but absolutely impressive for the Winnipeg Jets. Peace out and stay safe, everybody.